Good morning. This is Sunday, May 19th, 2013, and this is Edward with SonsOfGod.com. I'm just going to post a a very brief podcast for this morning. Uh, Next week there will be a a whole train of teaching that uh, we're going to dive into a little bit. But before we do that, I want to just make something really clear uh, for us. And in doing so, send this out in the realm of spirit. Um, Because it's an impartation, it's something that needs to get seated more within uh, the hearts of, of God's sons that are being prepared for this time. And as we know, we're not relegated to time or distance. Um, it's fascinating. One of these days I will have to talk about time and the, our ability to move within the scope of time that I see coming forward. But for the moment, what I'd like to address is, in essence, what is really happening as God changes us. We know that when we stand before Him, we're changed. We know that when we see Him as He is, we're changed into His likeness from glory to glory to glory. Of course, that talks about the progressive changes that we experience and will continue to experience because our walk with God is in an ever state of flux. If at any point this is not happening, then you know one must take two steps back and look at one's heart and ask ourselves, where are we? Because you're either going forward or you're going backwards. There's really no middle ground here of treading water. But I believe we understand that. So what's happening as God changes his sons. What is happening is a renewal of the mind. Pretty much, I would I would say so much. I would I would say everything is wrapped up in that one thing, the renewing of the mind. And it's not something that you can do. It's something the spirit is doing and will do and will complete. There are a number of scriptures that talk about the renewal of the mind. I know Romans 8 delves into it. But everything that we're looking for in the scope of sonship evolves around one thing, the renewing of the mind, the putting on of the mind of Christ, which is something more than just a platitude of, well, I'm putting on the mind of Christ. Um... We do. We, we put on the mind of Christ. But, but the truth of it is you only put on what you see in God. You know, so People can walk around and say, well, yeah, I'm, I'm taking this, I take this, I'm grabbing this from God, so on and so forth. It's just a bunch of hot air. You are only able to put on in God what you see. You can have faith. I reach in by faith to grab this Lord from you. That's good. But until you see it, you will not be able to put it on. So we are putting on God, but it is from level of experience after experience after experience. So going back to the crux of of my point here, what's happening as we change? It's a renewing of the mind, which is the last stronghold, if you will, that prevents the full manifestation of sonship, of the embodiment of the Godhead within each of the sons. So if I was to reduce that down one more layer and say, okay, well, what, what precisely, Edward, do you mean when you say a renewing of the mind? So I'm going to take it one step, I'm going to reduce it down one step further. I'm going to simplify it a little bit more. Uh, I don't want to limit the extent of what it really is in God and what God is doing, but just for my own benefit, What's happening? What's happening is a word that I have used almost as much as bonds, and that is the word paradigm. 
because as your mind changes, as the renewal of the mind happens, as you come into the mind of Christ, your paradigm is constantly changing. How you view reality, it all is based upon your truth and what you see in God. And so we're going through a constant shift daily, weekly, monthly, of our paradigm. Every time you meet the Lord, there is an impartation, there is a change. There is a change within your mind. Call it the spirit mind, the soul mind, the, the overshadowing of the spirit over the soul, however it gets defined. There's a change within you. It's interesting when you stop and think about the admonition, you know, when you to, to walk by the Spirit, you see by the Spirit, don't see your brother after soul, see your brother after the Spirit. There's a lot of admonitions about walking in the Spirit, seeing by the Spirit. What are we talking about? It's this transition of the from the soul man to the man of spirit, to who you really are. Who you really are in your spirit. And as this transition continues to happen, your spirit, and I wish I could explain this, I don't know how to explain it. Your spirit is moving into a position that your soul consciousness had take, had 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 uh, taken, um, assumed, and you are beginning to see through the eyes of your spirit. Now, that's very interesting to me, because we still think when we see, we're seeing through the eyes. Uh, you know the whole process of sight. There's a great word in the book, you know, on the process of sight. You should reread that. But there's a shift happening. And however it's happening dynamically, the bottom line is you're beginning to see with your spiritual eyes. You're beginning to hear with your spiritual ears. And and that's a change from how we have functioned. So we're we're in this transition. That's why it's so important to hold things lightly every day. Be slow to make to, to make judgments on what you see, on what's happening, because you're changing and you're changing rapidly. Every day there's a shift happening. Maybe it's not as often as every day. Maybe it's once a week. I don't know. It's different for everyone. But what's happening is you are changing in your perception, in your view of reality. So be on the guard. Be aware of that because it's something that we have to work through because there's still that aspect of the soul within us that would still want to overshadow the spirit. You know how the spirit wars against the soul, soul against the spirit. And stay locked into a certain view whether it's a brother a sister a situation doesn't really matter it's a it's a perception that's limited and so we're we're in this shift and as much as i want the lord just to do it do it lord do it do it do it finish it you know and and i and i know there's a a point where that's going to happen but we're in this process, if you will, of rapid change. And so it's important that we don't lock ourselves in by how we saw yesterday. As the Lord begins to change our thinking, change the way that we see things and understand things and perceive things, and all of a sudden our realm of reality, let's say, was was a certain size, let's say it was five miles wide, just for an example. Let's say our realm of reality was five miles wide, diameter, okay? And as God begins to expand your understanding, your consciousness, your awareness, your knowledge, all of a sudden you realize, oh my gosh, my reality is now 20 miles wide because you were only seeing in part. You weren't seeing the many, many layers beneath 
what you saw in the past plus what you saw in the past was you know a partial so it wasn't really the truth it was it, it was just a partial partial truth so everything gets deeper and gets in changes so it's important that we that we're just very careful in our in our being right now to not make a judgment call on situations or a judgment call on people and say, oh, yeah, I know who he is. He's always been a whatever. And, and if we don't watch it, we, we lock our brother, our sister in. Because as we move in more and more perception, we begin to see more and more. And so it could be very easy to see a brother after the flesh because you've got this greater level of perception. All of a sudden, you see what he was, what he's coming out of, you may not necessarily see what God is really doing, but you, you see that side of it. And then you can lock, you lock him into it if, if, you're, if you're not careful. Because God is changing the sons rapidly. And are any of the sons perfect? They are not. Uh -uh. All of our feet have been in the mud. But God is doing this thing. So I don't want to belabor this issue, but I do want to just say that we're experiencing a paradigm shift on a, on a consistent basis. Expect it. Be aware of it. Understand there's a, an ascension of spirit over soul. There's a shift happening as far as how you're seeing, you know, in, with respect to the functioning of our spirit and our soul. And the reality and the truths of yesterday were fine for them. But if you're not careful, they will hem you in and lock you in today. I bless all of you in Jesus' name. Amen.